Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. The eighth pearl or the eighth example is what the legislation has come with in regard to making permissible all of the good things regarding food and drinks and clothes and marriages. Every goodness which is beneficial, the religion has made it permissible for the people to use. Whether it's different types of foods or clothes or marriages. So anything which has benefit, it has been made permissible. And anything which has harm, then it has been made impermissible. And this shows the greatness of this religion, how it is always looking at these wisdoms and it is always looking uh, for the, the benefits of uh, the people or for the people and for the society. And even when it comes to marriages, there is always benefit for both parties. And even if a man wanted to marry more than four, he is not allowed to marry more than four. Why? Because he will not be able to be just between all of them. So that's why this legislation has not allowed it. And even if a man only has one, then there has been a lot of stress given to the man and his responsibility over, uh, over this woman. And how he, it is not, not allowed for him to be oppressive in any way. All of this for the betterment and the benefit of both parties. And if one was to look at all of the things that the religion has given when it came to and the rulings it has given and the conditions when it comes to marriages, it shows that the religion only wants marriages to prosper. And when marriages prosper, the children also prosper. And when they prosper, then the society prospers. And the religion also heavily stresses how much it dislikes divorce due to the effects and the harms that it could cause. However, if it does get to a point where divorce is the only solution and it is the best uh, solution, then it has also made that permissible. Why? For the betterment and the benefit of the person and also for society.